All right, what's good, y'all? It's me, Turkish Kwando Dingo. And let me show y'all how I make loops for Kwando. It's not just Kwando. This is a loop that I could hear him particularly on, but at the end of the day, it's really just a uh, street pain loop. Yeah, I'm gonna break it down uh, step by step. I got the FLP right here for the loop I just played. And yeah, let's get straight to it. So I started with this uh, piano starter from Daydream Made It. There's a couple uh, top notes over here too. And then the starter also came with these other pads and stuff too. They're kind of more like ambient in the background, kind of. It just adds like a nice, like other layer. It adds more body to the piano. I threw that MIDI into uh, Noir and I just tweaked some of these knobs, the extra body preset. And for effects, I just put this EQ and this reverb on it. And then also EQ this down here as well. The starter also came with this little lead phrase. Now the next thing I did was just add a couple like ambient kind of sounds to it. So these, these three sounds are just like wah-wah noises, like you can find in like random drum kits. This guitar is um, Electric Sunburst Deluxe. It's just like a little arpeggio thing that comes with it. So I just put it, it's just playing D the whole time and it just keeps looping that like chord progression or whatever that is. Again, it just adds like some like extra body to the loop, just fills in some space. I put a mix preset on it that I use for like acoustic guitar. I just thought it sounded kind of nice and it's just um this eq this convology reverb which is usually for like electric guitars but i just started putting it on everything because it sounds nice I, I don't really remember what i did with this but it does something so that's kind of like most of the body of the loop there's only like a few things left first we have this guitar pattern Um, this is in D minor. This is using uh, Evolution Strawberry. To get the bends in and like vibrato and stuff, I just recorded automation. So I ran it at um, record notes and automation and then I just recorded, like I played out the pattern and then moved this knob around to change that. So you can see as I play the pattern, this knob is gonna move. So yeah, that's, that's how you get that sound. I'm gonna link a video to Pee Wee explaining how he does it because he's kind of like the pioneer for that stuff. So I'll let him explain it. For effects, I just EQ most of the low end out, Convolution Reverb again, this that barely has anything on it, and then just a little bit of flanger. I also panned it to the right, and then this guitar I have panned to the left. So that's kind of just like some stereo separation, just because I didn't want them like kind of being in the same place in the mix. I kind of want to separate them a bit. And then I got this little saxophone lead. That shit sounds fire. That's kind of what gives it like a quantum vibe too, is the, the sax. Without any effects, this sounds hella dry. So I just uh, put this stereo shaper to like widen it, pan it to the left also, so it's not uh, getting in the way of the guitar lead. And then just the chronology reverb. And then last but not least, uh, this little bass line. Just following the root notes of the chord progression. It's a Scarby J bass. All right, my fault, y'all. My phone had died. About four days later, I'm editing this video. But yeah, thank you for all the support on the channel recently. I see we hit like 2,000 subs the other day, so thank you for that. And yeah, man, I'm gonna keep the videos coming for the rest of the summer. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.